Hello YouTube and to all my subscribers, this is Dan the 25 man here. Today I am coming to you with a layout update as well as an inventory of all the stuff that I got over Christmas. Um, as you can see there is a lot to go over so let's not waste any more time and let's get right on it. Okay so the first part I am going to do is all the stuff that I got over the holidays that are from Hornby and Bachman Branch Line whereas everything else is over there as from Bachman Industries and I will get right on that after I clear this section right here. So first off, um, I want to say that uh, I know I haven't been active um, for a long time. That's because I was in college, um, but now that I'm done and I'm back on YouTube, I am going to be more active now in making videos and of course more remakes and also I'm going to be starting my own content as you saw from my uh, new Thomas Intros video. So anyway, moving on to uh, the first part of this is the Hornby Old Slow Coach. Um, I got this back in December. Um, this I won at an eBay auction. Um, I did pay a good hefty amount uh, for this piece of rolling stock, but um, it, it's just an amazing uh, piece of rolling stock that I have now for my collection. And as you can guess, uh, she will be in two remakes that I will um, that I will create later on this year. Um, um, all I can say is that every detail on this is excellent and as any Thomas fan knows um, Hornby has discontinued their Thomas and Friends line so um, best of luck to anyone who wants any uh, Hornby rolling stock or engines uh, good luck finding them um, usually you can find them sometimes on eBay or Amazon so I would start there anywhere else um, um, just leave a comment down below and let me know if you find anything else. Anyway, um, these next um, pieces of rolling stock are the um, Hornby Troublesome Trucks. Um, and of course, as you can see, I got two of them, two of each one of Troublesome Truck number one and then Troublesome Truck number two. And of course, they're different boxes. But, you know, as you can see, um, they got different looks, but uh, of course, they're the same pieces of rolling stock. Um, I got these uh, at separate times. Um, these two pieces right here were from um, uh, from you know just an auction um, that I participated in. This one right here came as a pack from Amazon, um, and I think they're still selling them right now at the time of this video. So if you want uh, some rolling stock from Hornby, um, Amazon would be your best bet. Um, anyway. Now we're moving on to the Bachman Branch Line stuff. Um, I've seen these in a lot of uh, videos uh, from uh, YouTube um, people such as the Blue E2, um, etc. Um, but these are the tarpaulin covered loads for wagons. It's in a pack of four. Um, and as you can see, I got two of them. Um, the reason for that being is because this one, or just any one, um, I'm going to be repainting four of these in a gray uh, primer or like a light gray color because um, that way I have uh, you know a good differential look. Um, I got the idea from respray painting the loads from uh, Sudrine Railway who um, of course has the his channel and his um, and of course his uh, Twitter so Definitely check him out and uh, definitely um, look at his work because it is phenomenal. In my opinion, it is. All right, so finally moving on to the last part of the inventory is all of my stuff that I got from Bachman Industries. Um, believe it or not, all of this stuff that I bought was from Amazon. Um, Amazon is pretty much my go-to store for trains now because here in Colorado, there are no train stores that sell Thomas stuff. So that I am disappointed about. Um, but anyway, uh, first part is Bill. Um, the reason I'm bringing him up is because this is the Bill engine that I've had ever since 2011. Um, and as you can see from these video clips, uh, he had wonky eyes and uh, it was hard to fix him. But now he has, uh, he has better looking eyes now. Um, Bachman Industries finally fixed him after all these years and I'm happy to say that he's still running perfectly and still in service from 2011 so I'm happy about that. Um, moving right along now is Ben. 
Um, believe it or not, it took me a good eight, almost nine years to get Ben because at the time I was just a broke high school and college student. But now that I'm making decent money right now from my job, um, I'm putting in a, a little bit at a time to buy new things from Bachman Industries. Um, ben, of course, is, you know, Bill's twin and... I will be doing more remakes with these two twins, especially some, um, two, one of them from uh, Season 5, uh, Double Teething Troubles, as soon as I get my hands on a Derek model or uh, a model that was referenced for, uh, for Derek. Um, now, moving along to one of the bigger ones, Henry the Green Engine. Now, you're probably thinking why I have two. Well, after uh, 10 years of service, um, my original Henry has finally burnt out, his motor burnt out, and he is no longer functioning. So he is going to be a stunt double now. However, this Henry is functioning. Again, I got him from Amazon, so he will be replacing my original Henry. Um, this one runs fine. He's perfect. Um, so again, my Henry that I bought from 2010, he's out of service now, but he will be a stunt double and of course you know which remakes I'm talking about the flying kipper something in the air those are the remakes that I'm going to be doing featuring the stunt double Henry now moving along to this one down here this is Oliver the great western engine I'm so happy that I got him now and of course he will be featured in remakes as well um, I will be redoing um, escape and Oliver owns up but I will also be doing his other remakes such as Toad Stands By, Oliver the Snow Engine, um, Oliver's Find, and a few others. And of course I'll feature him in a couple cameo spots as well, so... Um, but yeah, he is amazing. I love him a lot. Um, and of course, you can't get Oliver without Toad, the brake van. Toad is very well done, detailed. The only uh, flaw that I have with it, in my opinion, is the uh, silver buffers. It's not exactly accurate, but um, he is still an amazing model. And of course, he will be featured with Oliver in the a couple remakes that I've listed and, and also Busy Going Backwards. I hope you're going to watch that because that is going to be tough to make. Now, of course, uh, we got these down here next. We got the uh, Bachman... Branch line coaches, the red ones. Now, I bought three of them two of the regulars and one brake coach. And of course, you've seen um, other uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube creators buy them as well. Now, what I am going to do with these is that I'm going to be changing the roof on them. They are going to be painted white. And what I'm going to be using is a uh, Sharpie white. Uh, white uh, fine point pen um, that you can get at any store such as Walmart, Office Depot, Office Max, etc. But yeah, these roofs will not stay black. They are going to be white so that they are accurate with the Season 3 and Season 2 um, coaches, uh, from uh, especially from Season 2 when they were first introduced. And then finally, uh, we got um, the Troublesome Truck number 5 the salt wagons. Now I bought two of them. Now of course uh, the reason for this being is because one is going to be not only a back is not go is going to be an original but another one he is going to sacrifice his face to um, to be put on a troublesome truck so that there is several trucks that are gonna you know have different uh, facial expressions etc. Um, but that's why I bought two of them. Um, and that's it for the inventory. Okay, so the last part of this video is the layout update. Um, so, I mean, there's not really much to look at. Um, I will say this, though. What I decided to do from now on is not only um, follow in the footsteps of D Diesel D199 and um, the Blue E2, they've done partial layouts. Now, I made that uh, slogan up. I don't know if it's the same as anyone else would call it, but basically what 
is going to happen from now on is that on my layout specifically when I do remakes is that I'm going to be creating the set just like in the real Thomas and Friends uh, productions where they where they have rails lead to nowhere you know stuff like that and just partial scenes but as you can see over there you know I've made a, a slight uh, recreation of the Natford Harbor scene from my uh, newest remake Percy takes the plunge um, I tried to replicate it, you know, as best as I can. Um, and then, of course, um, as you saw from Percy Takes the Plunge, I have begun filming outside, outdoors, using real outdoor settings. I figured it's time for a change of scenery, and that won't happen in all the remakes, but it will happen in some. And what that means is that any remakes that involve water, such as... Uh, Toby's tightrope, Percy takes the plunge, something in the air, etc. Those will take place outside. And if I need to do a uh, specific scene, you know, as a sunset or sunrise or something like that, that will be filmed outside too. Um, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, obviously, the change in uh, the set will um, give a better feel and a better look to all my remakes now. Um, I don't know what my next remake is now at the time of this video, but I will keep you guys updated and be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. And be sure to spread the word uh, to tell people that not only am I back on YouTube, but I am making more remakes now, uh, new ones and revised ones as well. Um, but other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for watching and this is Dan the 25 Man.